Hi everybody, Byron Martin here at Logies Greenhouses. This is a time of year when flowers are very few. It's a season when there's a transition between the summer and our winter flowering plants. And so it's a really great time of year to find things that have come into their fullness. One of the plants that we grow here at Logies, and I really love them all my life, is the Dombias. And these are actually tropical trees for the most part. Two of the most outstanding ones that we grow here at Logies, particularly for container growing, are our Dombia Seminole and our Dombia Elegans. And they both have this compact habit to them when grown in containers, and they are easily manageable in terms of keeping them at a size where you can maintain them in a greenhouse or a home or a sunroom. As I mentioned, this is their flowering cycle, so they are plants that sense the decreasing day length, so they're photo period sensitive, and there's a point where the days shorten and it initiates bloom. So the key when you're growing these is to make sure that all of your pruning is done by the 1st of June. That gives them time to send out new growth, and then as we hit the height of summer and that declining day length, it starts the stimulation of flowers, which we're here in November. These have just started, this one here, Seminole, is just beginning to bloom for us. And our elegance here has been in flower now for about two weeks. This variety here will go on for about another three, maybe four weeks, and then it'll go out of bloom. Still some young buds forming here in the tips of the plant. In the Northeast here in greenhouses, the flowering cycle can be a little bit shorter than it is in tropical areas because our light gets really diminished by the time we get to the end of December and into January. And so that next flush of flowers that would normally come out do not appear unless, as I mentioned, under really high light conditions. As far as their culture goes, they're easy to grow. You know, it's a watering fertilizer regime. We use just a balanced fertilizer on them. Don't put them into severe drought stress. That's another key. Um, that can cause leaf yellowing and, of course, other things that are not good for creating beautiful specimens. We usually keep them pretty contained in the pot, cramped, and that is mainly um, just to reduce the size of them. So we have some of our older um, Seminoles here that have been in the pots for like two or three decades. And we never repot them, we just keep them tight like that. They really don't push themselves out of the pot so we don't need to do the root pruning on them. And you know, they, they go season after season. They, we, as soon as they're done blooming, we cut them back. We make sure there's a second pruning, and that, as I mentioned, in June, and then we um, let them go back into flower. The interesting thing about them is not all of them are pink. There's actually some white forms of it, but they actually have a fragrance to them, which is very sweet. I really like it only because I grew up here and I can remember the fragrance when I was a kid, but they have a very almost something you'd want to eat kind of a fragrance to them. Dombio wilikii is probably the most fragrant of them. These you really have to kind of stick your nose in them to smell the fragrance. And the interesting thing is the honeybees love them, although they never get into the greenhouse in the wintertime. In the tropical areas or southern areas where they're grown, the honeybees get a tremendous amount of nectar out of them, which you can actually see. I can actually see some glistening inside the flowers right here. As far as insects go, there really isn't a lot that bothers them. Um, mealybug can be a problem. We don't have problems with um, spider mite on them. Usually the aphids are not a problem, and nor are the thrip. For as far as I know, in our culture here, we've never really had problems with scale on them. But as I said, mealybugs can get on them, so you have to be watchful over that. But really, that's often a problem of having an infected plant nearby. So if you're clean to start with, you can go on for a very long time without any trouble. In terms of their culture, they need really full sun, as much as you can give them. They are known to be grown under a little bit lower light and still perform, but more sun the better. They can take it quite cool. We grow these in um, both warm houses and cool houses. We've grown them down into the 40s at night, and they've come through fine. Now, in the south, they do fine anyway, but the northern greenhouse or sunroom with long periods of cold temperatures, particularly on cloudy days, can do damage to some of the tropicals. And this is not one of them. They do thrive under those conditions. Dombiers are great plants for color at that time of year when so few things are in bloom in our homes and our greenhouses. If you'd like more information, visit us at logies.com.